Hi Deirdre here, I'm just going to do a quick video on how to create uh, Facebook audiences, uh, especially for cold audiences um, because um, some of the cold audiences that we're using Facebook Insights are not really working as well as they used to in the past. So here's a few ways uh, to work around it. With the changes that took place after iOS 14, there are certain audiences that aren't going to perform the same way as they used to. Many of these are going to be interest-based audiences and behavioural audiences. And so we really have to get creative in the way we think about audiences. So in addition to demographics um, about your persona, you'll also have to think hard about the different interests uh, that could be tracked within the, the meta uh, platforms. So meta would include uh, Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp um, are, are the main ones. Um, but but at that that information is still being tracked. Um, so have a think about um, what could be tracked within those uh, environments. So we're going to create a, a few saved audience. So let's click on, uh, again, to bring up audiences, you click over here to the burger menu and click on audiences and then uh, click on create audience. And we're going to create a saved audience. Um, so in here, we're just going to um, put in uh, some of the details. So our first audience is going to be females aged 25 to 40 who have an interest in golf and are based in Ireland. So I've just filled in those details now. Um, so location include Ireland, age 25 to 40. I've selected women um, and uh, in the interests, um, I, I've chosen golf. OK, and um, so we're going to leave it at that and we're going to click on create saved audience. Now, golf isn't necessarily the focus of what we're um, trying to sell as a product here, but we have discovered that our personas have an interest in golf and we suspect that that might convert well. Um, and so the next audience I'm going to create, all I'm going to do is change one factor. I'm not going to change many things and then I'll know what's working. Is it the age one that works or is it the golf that works or is it females? So we're just going to change one item. So what I've changed, all I'm changing is the actual uh, age in this one here. So I'm making it females age 41 to 64. I'm staying with females, I'm staying with golf and I'm staying with Ireland. The only thing that's changing is the age. And as you can see here, I've changed that. And when we move down the bottom, instead of sitting, clicking on update, we click on save as new. OK, uh, and again, we have the, the new name there. Um, OK, and you can see the, the main details of it here and we click on save. And then close out of it. Now we're going to go back to the original one again and we're going to edit it. And this time, instead of doing uh, in changing the age, what we're going to do is we're going to change the interest. So we're going to um, change golf uh, and choose a different interest. So we're changing the interest um, of uh, golf uh, through to cooking uh, and we're going to choose cooking uh, as, as our interest. So we've left everything else the same. Uh, and again, we're going to click on save as new. Uh, and uh, we're going to make this, get rid of the word copy. Cooking is the interest. OK, uh, and we're going to click on save. And then we close out of it. Um, OK, and we're going to click again on this one here and edit it. So this is the same as the last ones. We're just making it aged 41 to 64 and the interest is cooking females in Ireland uh, and we saved uh, as new. Uh, so now we have uh, our different ones, our two uh, audiences um, aimed at golf uh, and the two different age groups uh, and then the two audiences aimed at people who had an interest in cooking um, aged uh, two different age groups as well and when we run these uh, we'll then see which works better does golfing work better than cooking does the younger age group convert better than the older age group and when we can see that one of these audience is performing better then we know for the next time which is more likely to convert. So now we're going to create an ad using these four audiences. Uh, so I'll hit on the burger menu here and I'll go back into ads manager. And I'm going to create a new campaign. So I'm going to click on the green plus up here. So we're going to choose uh, traffic and then we'll click on continue. So the first thing I'm going to make uh, sure I do is after giving it a name, I'm going to come down here and make sure the campaign bu budget optimization is switched on. 
Now we have to remember that we have four different ads that we're testing out here. So I'm going to increase my uh, daily budget to 100. So we're going to go now to uh, ad set one and we'll click in there. So that we can effectively test all four of the ads, we're actually going to go in and make sure that each of the ads gets a fair crack at the whip to test it out. So uh, we're going to go to these extra optional settings in here and we're going to set ad uh, set spend uh, limits because we don't want that one of the ads would only receive five euros and another might receive 50. So we're going to set a minimum that each of the ads must get at least 15 euros uh, per day. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the audience. So we're going to click on use saved audience uh, and we'll just go ahead and pick the first one. And now I'm going to hit uh, publish. And then when I'm back out again, I'm going to uh, duplicate this one here. So I'm going to click on duplicate. So I just rename the ad set. So this is now females age 41 to 64. Leave everything else the same. The only thing I change is in here. Um, you saved audience. I'm going to change it over uh, to females age 41 to 64. Um, and then I'm going to click on publish. So now I'm just going to repeat that exact same step. So I'm going to click on duplicate here um, and uh, I'm going to duplicate. And instead of being golf, this will be cooking. And I'll change the audience and then I and then I'll click on publish and then we just make a duplicate of this one here um, for the younger age group as well and just change the audience. OK, and then publish. So let's just take a look now. So we've got this uh, campaign here uh, and we click on the campaign and we can see that we have the four different ad sets. Um, and then uh, when we are, when we actually run this, these ads, uh, we'll be able to take a look at the insights to see which of these is performing better.